there really isn't much quite as annoying as being in stop and go traffic with a manual truck. And going from first gear, second gear, 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 as you creep through traffic. Is stick shift better? Or is automatic better? Which is better for a work truck, manual or automatic? If you're buying a new pickup truck, you might not have a choice anyway, since most newer trucks are coming out only with automatic as an option. But if you're like me, and you're running old used trucks, you might wonder whether you want a manual or an automatic transmission. There's a couple benefits to both automatics and manuals, and a couple reasons why so one is, is a better option over the other when it comes to what exactly you're doing with your truck. I have two um, uh, diesel pickup trucks. One has a ZF6 speed, and the other is a 5-speed automatic. Both are 4x4, four four, of course, because I live in a climate that's commonly icy and I do a lot of back road driving and I have to have four-wheel drive. It is absolutely a necessity and my truck would not um, be basically usable for half the year without it. Now, I actually swapped this six-speed into this truck because it was originally an automatic when I bought it. This is my 2003 six-liter, of course. You've seen it before, the Dually. Um... Now, the, a big reason for it is, for one, reliability. You can easily get five or 600,000 kilometers out of one of these six speeds if you service properly and take care of it, where it is hard with heavy use of an automatic transmission to get over 300,000 kilometers out of it. And if it's a Dodge, probably going to have a hard time getting over 150,000 kilometers out of that transmission. Now, you might not have the option, you might find that you want to start hot shotting or just get a pickup truck to tow your camper, and you might find that you're, the only option in your budget is either a manual or an automatic. Now, the farther back you go, you might have more of an option, but newer vehicles tend to be more common than manual transmissions anyways. Now, I'm generally either towing 10,000 pounds on a gooseneck trailer or 8,000 pounds plus with my fifth wheel. A very obvious advantage of an automatic transmission is ease of driving, right? If you're doing a lot of in-town driving, you're gonna probably want an automatic transmission. Um, same thing, it, in town with a heavy trailer is not very much fun with a manual transmission. You gotta push the clutch in and try not to stall it and you run, run up through the gears every time you are stopping and going. Where a manual transmission that is mostly driven on the highway anyways is really no different than an automatic anyhow. I find when I'm towing over 10,000 pounds in the truck, instead of putting it into first gear when coming to a start, or um, getting going, instead of putting it into first gear, I'm putting it down into low range. Because um, this truck also does have 373 gearing, which um, kind of makes it so I have to put it down into low range when starting. And going up from low into first into second, anyone who's done it, and tried to do it quickly in traffic knows that it is not very much fun. Now, running heavy weight in stop and go traffic can be a real hassle and really hard on your clutch because you're pressing the clutch, releasing it, slipping it, um, where an automatic has a torque converter which does all of that work for you and is much easier on the drivetrain. Um, if you're doing a lot of stop and go traffic, you might find yourself having to replace the clutch a lot more commonly because you're um, reapplying it and releasing it a whole lot more often, where a, a automatic will put up with that a whole lot better. When you buy your truck, you're going to have to decide exactly what you want to do with it um, before you really decide whether you want to go for an automatic or a manual. With the manual transmission, I get about two miles per gallon better than my other six liter that has a automatic in it. Now that's because you're losing less power through the torque converter and through the hydraulic system of the transmission. Um, other than that, I guess you could talk about reliability. Uh, if you're towing heavy, your um, manual transmission is gonna put up, you're gonna last a lot longer, but then also your clutch might not. And you may have to replace a clutch in less time than it would take you to have to replace that automatic transmission. Servicing is another thing. Um, an automatic transmission, especially in these 6 liters, they got the 5R110 that needs to have only low viscosity, low viscosity synthetic transmission fluid, which is, I think to do the flush is about $200 worth of fluid plus a $60 filter 
plus a $40 inline filter. Either way, you're looking at two to $300 for a fluid change. Where in this manual transmission, um, I'm looking at maybe one or two jugs of whatever ATF. I can use synthetic. You could use synthetic if you'd like, but I think only about $50 to do the service on it. However, if it comes time to replace the clutch, um, say in 100,000 kilometers of work, that clutch is going to cost maybe five to six hundred dollars plus the um, maintenance, the, the time to install the clutch. If you're planning on a lot of highway driving, a six speed or five speed might be the best option for you because really it's no different than an automatic, plus, you're getting um, advantage of better reliability and better fuel mileage out of it. Trucks just say like hauling your camper trailer on the weekend and maybe hauling around some pallet loads around town. An automatic is probably going to be a better option just for ease of driving. You'll get less tired, have to play with the gear shifter all the time. It'll be a lot smoother in stop and go traffic. If you're driving off road in say the mud a lot, an automatic is nicer for that. Other than it's kind of hard on the automatic to put it in um, drive, reverse, try and rock yourself in and out of the mud depending on exactly what you're doing with the truck. I have towed over 10,000 pounds, 15,000 pounds, 20,000 pounds with automatic and manual transmissions. There are advantages to both automatic and manual transmissions. And a nice advantage to automatic trucks, of course, in traffic is putting it in drive and leaving it there. Creeping through traffic with an automatic transmission, especially with an extremely heavy trailer, is a whole lot easier and definitely worth it. Now I work my trucks beyond absolute belief, so you better understand that I do hang on to a spare manual transmission and a spare automatic transmission for when it needs it. So at the end, I still have one automatic work truck and one manual work truck. And the point of this is because sometimes one is better for one thing while another is better for the other thing. There's advantages to both and disadvantages to both. Um, until they come out with a automatic manual that's just as reliable as a manual but just as easy as an automatic i guess i'll have to buy one of those maybe if someone made a manual with a unengaging like you could disengage the clutch and just run a uh, torque converter i'd buy that